I'd say I really discovered my vocation as a child. I was uh, pretty young, about 10 years old, when I first noticed the priest and that he was doing something different on the altar. It was in the depths of my own sadness that I came to realize that I needed something more, something better for me. So I ended up going to daily mass. Somebody invited me to church, and the first time when I went to mass, I found out everything that I was looking for in that particular mass. I've just been so blessed with examples of great priests with their hearts on fire for the gospel that I wanted to imitate, that I wanted to be like, and who encouraged me in my vocation as well. To be honest, like entering the seminary and just getting into the doors of seminary was a small first step. And that, I would say, is really where the story, the vocation story, picks up. I went in with a lot of questions and still trying to figure out what God was calling me to, but I knew that to answer the question, I had to enter seminary. When you enter the seminary, right, you think like, oh, put me in coach, like, ordain me tomorrow and I'll get to work, it'll be great. And then when you go to the seminary, you realize, please don't ordain me tomorrow, maybe not next year and maybe not ever. I don't have what it takes to be a priest of Jesus Christ. I just don't have what it takes. And then when you realize what it is to be a priest of Jesus Christ more and more as seminary goes on, you, the fear becomes, will I ever have what it takes? Will I ever be who I, enough of the man that God wants me to be where I'll be able to be a priest? What I was really looking for was certainty. I, I quickly realized, though, that the certainty I was looking for was a human certainty. So rather, instead of being certain about something, the Lord was asking me to trust Him. And in that trust, that's, that's where faith really built in my life. Many of the virtues that I've learned in the Navy, such as discipline, self-control, hard-working ethic, those easily fall into the life of priest. As a priest acting in persona Christi, meaning in the person of Christ, it means to act, especially in the sacraments, with the very authority as the person of Christ himself. For me to be called upon to continue that, to continue that aspect of the sacramental life of the church is the absolute honor of a lifetime. A priest has to have non-negotiables in his life. Some of the non-negotiables of a priest for keeping everything straight is is his prayer, right? Is his, his mental prayer every day with God. Obviously his breviary and the mass, frequent confession, spiritual direction, and good relationships with other priests. Like these are just a couple of the things that have been drilled into us at the seminary as to this is, these are things you have to have. The most important is the kneeler. We're to pray. So to stay grounded is is really to be in communication with God. The father is really someone who empowers his children to be able to help people to see that victory, that, that goodness in themselves, that they're good, loved, and capable of loving. My favorite Bible verse is Songs chapter 2, verse 10, which reads, Arise, my beloved, and come away with me. And that's been a very special Bible verse, most profoundly in my heart. And I've really seen pursuing his heart, pursuing the priesthood, pursuing heaven as this awesome adventure where every day the Lord says to me, Arise, Zinjin, my son, my beloved, and come away with me. My favorite Bible verse is John 8. And it is, um, if you abide in my word, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And this is my favorite chapter because I have experienced this. And the more that I follow the commandments of the Lord, the more that I become free. And because He's the truth and He's the one who has set me free. 
For me, when I say totus tuus, it's about everything to Jesus, everything to his church, nothing for myself. I'm looking forward to that moment when I'm lying prostrate on the floor of the church and just offering myself completely, no strings attached, everything to the Lord, totus tuus. One way that I desire to bring Jesus to people is to bring Jesus into their homes, to help people to see that the Lord is reaching out to them and that uh, they can encounter him outside of those places where they expect to find him. And so I hope and pray that a lot of my time in the priesthood will be spent bringing Jesus to people in the places that they didn't know he was looking for them. There have been so many good people that have been with me throughout my life and been there, loving and supporting me and praying for me. And I just, I'm excited to being able to offer what I can and realizing even no matter how little that is, that Christ will always supply more. So what I am most looking forward to approaching ordination is thanking the people, especially my family and loving all of them through the gift that the Lord gives.